The sixth reading comes to us from the prophet Isaiah. Salvation offered freely to all. Ho, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters, and you that have no money, come, buy, and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me and eat what is good, and delight yourselves in rich food. Incline your ear and come to me. Listen so that you may live. I will make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, sure love for David. See, I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander for the peoples. See, you shall call nations that you do not know, and nations that do not know you shall run to you. Because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their way and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them return to the Lord that he may have mercy on them. And to your God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return there until they have watered the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes out from, your, from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. Here ends the reading. Let us say together Canticle 9, the first song of Isaiah. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day you shall say, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the, of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion. Ring out your joy, for the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, you have created all things by the power of your word, and you renew the earth by your spirit. Give now the water of life to those who thirst for you, that they may bring forth abundant fruit in your glorious kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In this song by the prophet Isaiah, reflections on the nature of God and nature of humanity are given. And there is something that is often quoted in Christian circles in this passage. My thoughts are higher than your thoughts, my ways higher than your ways. Sometimes this is used in order to justify things that might seem unethical, immoral. They use to justify things saying, well, if God says it's right, it must be right. But if you look directly before this, what you see is talk about pardoning and forgiving and mercy. And this pairs well with what Jesus said, to forgive like God is to forgive infinitely. 
There is no such thing as not forgiving in the divine. So if God's ways are higher than our ways and we are to aspire and pattern our lives after that which is God's, what might it mean to offer forgiveness at that level? But even more, what might it mean to accept that forgiveness infinitely? Think on this.